you know, as, as a Shakespeare theater, we spend a lot of our time um, living in the voices of dead writers, of yeah. writers that precede yeah. us, of writers that are sometimes, you know, 400 years yeah. older. Um, and uh, next season, we have two living writers that are working with us as part of our subscription season. And I think, you know, one of the things that's quite uh, profound to me is the capacity of our great writers to help us understand our past by looking at our present. Mm -hmm. And I think this is what I love about William Shakespeare. So William Shakespeare, right, was regularly adapting old stories mm -hmm. and bringing those old stories into a contemporary Elizabethan context mm -hmm. for his audiences. That, you know, what he would do is he would take, like, the story of Julius Caesar and he would present that story mm -hmm. to Elizabethan audiences in a way that they could see themselves in it. Mm -hmm. And I think living writers do that all the time. Mm -hmm. Living writers find the stories that they want to tell, that they are passionate about, that they are committed to. They find those stories and they, they deliver those stories in a way that invites an audience to see ourselves in the very stories that, you know, and to understand why those stories are so scintillating or so exciting. So this idea that Octavio and Brandon both are taking these very old stories um, and they're creating a way for us to see ourselves in them. They're, they're aiding us in that. Um, and maybe aiding isn't even the right word because I often find, just, just as like with the success of Marcus Gardley's Black Odyssey, Marcus wasn't trying to help us have a deeper understanding of the Odyssey. In some ways, Marcus was inspired by the Odyssey to help us have a deeper understanding of today. Mm -hmm. And I think in the best of ways, both Octavio and Brandon's plays do the same thing. Mm -hmm. They're not saying, um, they're not saying that they necessarily have anything new to offer to an audience about Don Quixote or about the journey of every man. What they're saying is these stories remain as relevant to us today as they were to the audiences that imbibed them when they first appeared. Mm -hmm. And that those stories connect us um, more fully to each other and to our place and time. Mm -hmm. um, and, and, and they are taking those stories and they are um, they are transforming them. Mm. Well, I, and I love your thought that um, Shakespeare took up the, the jewels of stories, or from st stories like Cynthia or uh, Plautus, or, and, and he made them into, or collaged them into a play that was the same but very different. And what I love about having living writers working with these plays is that they're doing something that is not going to be the same. It's going to be uniquely um, the same and different so that we see the jewels of those plays and we see them studded into a collage that is of today.